So you've got yourself a fight stick. That's awesome, but now comes the really fun part. Modding and customizing it to fit your own preferences. It's yours and you get to put your own style and feel on it. Here are some potential changes and customization options and ideas to help make it all your own. One of the most obvious tactile changes is simply swapping out the joystick. There are a ton of different levers and brands and each offer something all their own. At the most basic, there are two main kinds, the Japanese style lever and the Korean style lever, and depending on your game genre of choice and how you hold it, it may be worth investing in something new. The next big change you can make to a stick is swapping out the buttons. I've already done a video on the different kinds, but each brand has a slightly different feel and price point. And even if you like the feel of your current ones, you can still swap out the inserts on most of them to insert artwork of your choice, try a concave option, or go with something new and truly custom like these wooden resin ones here. You can change out the shaft on several levers for something of a different color or height. Additionally, there is a fun product called the Link and its cousin, the EX Groove, which allow you to remove the shaft and ball top for transport or storage. Circling back to the joystick, there are a ton of tweaks you can make to really change the feel of the one you have without investing in a brand new model. Maybe all yours needs is a new actuator to change the throw distance. Maybe all it needs is a stiffer tension spring to send it back to neutral that much faster. There's also a product called a shuriken for certain levers, which allows for solderless switch changes. I'm also a big fan of the Auto V5 DIY kit to tighten up the feel of a stock JLF. And while we're still on joysticks, Japanese style levers will typically let you change the gate. Many default to a square shape, but if you want octagonal, circular, or even a square gate with rounded corners, you can find them. They are all very cheap and easy to swap if you want to try something new. If even after all those changes the joystick is still giving you grief, you can get rid of the thing completely and install a drop-in Odin from Omni Arcade. If you grew up with computer keyboard gaming or you simply love arrow keys, this might be just the ticket. You can choose your switch type, plus it's an easy install that fits in standard joystick holes. The first bite is with the eye. So although art doesn't do much to help your game, new face art can go a long way in putting your personal stamp and style on a stick. Focus Attack sells custom prints for nearly every popular model, and I even get a lot of my custom odd size one-offs through there and then just cut them myself. You can use the templates on their website and fab up the art yourself, or if you're not overly artistic, you can commission any of the artists on this list to help bring your vision to life. This next tweak is another fun one. There are tons of different ball tops, bat tops, bat balls, and oddly shaped 3D printed toppers to find one that speaks to you. Resins, plastics, woods, and even metals for a colder, heavier feel can breathe some new life into your setup. Typically, a ball top is around 35 millimeters in diameter, but you can also easily find 38s and even the gigantic 45s. Depending on your specific fight stick, this next one may be difficult, but installing a breakaway detachable cord to help with travel and storage may be worth your time. There are different kinds of connections, some with locking mechanisms and some without. Heat shrink wire sleeving can also look cool, and if you're going to go that route, then maybe you can overhaul your internal wiring to make it look super clean. There is an awesome guide to help you get great results, and I'll leave a link to it in the video description. The PCB is the brain of the fight stick and allows you to play on various systems. There are retro boards to enable play on older consoles, and then the universal board covers most of the big consoles still being used at the tourneys of today. An exception is the PS5, and you'll probably need this daughter board add-on to play your favorite games on that system if you're using a custom stick. Circling back to the artwork for a moment, some builds benefit from additional art on the bottom, but something else to consider is just foam padding. Focus Attack, JFA, and MERS Arcade offer foam for your builds to make those long sessions grinding away in your game all the more comfortable. A non-Vulix or just otherwise different layout can also be an option. Noir and Astro City Player 2 are great options, or you can go with something even more custom to fit your exact needs. If you've got a modular case or building your enclosure from scratch, this one is more doable. 
For better or worse, Vulix is a pretty standard layout, but there's no shame switching to something more ergonomic for you. Some sticks even have kits that turn them into all-button variants if you'd rather go that route. If you go to a lot of locals, or you don't have a stick bag, I think straps and handles can be a good compromise. I don't see these as often as I think I should for being so practical. Just sling it over your shoulder and there's no chance you're forgetting your stick at an event. LEDs or lighting options can also be really fun. There are several ways to achieve this with lighting kits, but you can also make use of those LED light strips for something a bit cheaper. Just be aware that unless you've got some internal power source, you're pulling from the PC or console it's hooked up to. If you want a customized programmable option, then look into a Kaimana solution. And there you have it. These ideas are just the tip of the iceberg. I've seen cup holders installed in sticks as well as feet that act as bottle openers. The sky is the limit. Have you done anything crazy to yours? Let me know some of your favorite mods or customizations in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.